Hello to everyone, and my name is Ryan, coming to you from Lion Mill Studios. I am working on my uh, Dire Boar attack page. Now, this is actually just after the initial attack of the Dire Boar against our main character, Quill. And the Dire Boar is uh, going to slowly approach Quill to um, kill him, and I guess presumably eat him. And I wanted to make it as menacing as possible, so I have the dire boar do a slow walk toward him, and you can see the dire boar's face get closer and closer and closer. So uh, that's what I'm working on right now. I'm hitting these pencils uh, in the uh, thing that you're seeing, and that's my beautiful, big, round, bald head that you see before you. And my sunglasses. I don't know. You know, actually, I do know why I was wearing my sunglasses. Because I couldn't find my actual regular glasses. So, I decided to go with those. And uh, uh, this is a fun page. I had to... I had to skip. I had to skip my pages. Because I... Uh, we, I like the character moments in my comics. Uh, the, the slower, quieter moments between... Um, characters and and that's that's all fun and well and good but sometimes you just want a little bit of meat you know you want like something uh you need some action to draw so i decided to to skip to the action and uh give myself a little bit of dessert before my dinner and get some of this action stuff done and it's uh it's proving well um proving pretty good uh in this in this you, you can actually see i i i erased out a couple of things and kept going back to the uh, the actual drawing board of uh, when you're drawing comics uh, you know I'm obviously no expert but I, I do have a little bit of um, uh, knowledge when, when you're drawing comics or anything actually it doesn't matter if it's comics don't be afraid to just start right over. Now, that doesn't mean to be indecisive. That means don't be afraid to, uh, if you know something is wrong, to completely start back over. Now, um, th that's different than being indecisive because, um, oh, and real quick, this is what you're looking at right now is a color study. Now, th this is another important thing uh, that I need to do because I'm not very confident with my watercolor skills. Um, <coughs> and really, you, you one should do a color study of anything before they actually commit to a painting. It doesn't matter if it's watercolor, comics, uh, oil painting. A little color study is, is always going to be a big benefit because uh, at a very low resolution, you can still see if the colors work together and your idea will work together. My idea here was uh, to have a limited palette for the evening because uh, Quill has wandered off into the woods looking for a, a little baby goat kid in the woods um, uh, near the um, the High Glen. Th this is the inked page of that of that. Um, I wish I would have. I wish I would have shown me inking. Inking is one of my favorite parts, though I'm not very good at it. I'm I'm getting better, but uh, it is fun to watch it come to life, and I love using my uh, uh, my Kuratake pen. Now this, I made a mistake. Um, I'm using the tape to tape off the edges for where I'm going to uh, watercolor, to leave the gutters white. <clears throat> Though I make a mistake here at, at the end of the video. A oh, pretty fatal mistake. Um, not fatal, actually. I didn't completely ruin the entire drawing, but it, I did basically have to play the part of an art restoration, uh, art restorer. Um, for my own artwork that I literally just made. Um, and this is, you can see, I'm using a, 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 a X-Acto blade to uh, cut out the, uh, uh, the areas where the, the bore actually break through the panel. There's a little bit where, he, uh, where his, his tusk breaks the panel on the left panel, and a little bit on the right. Uh, with his ear and his his uh, cheekbone and his tusk, but unfortunately, it also bit into the watercolor paper, and that's no good because when I peeled up the the tape, I wound up peeling up um, 
the, the paper as well, and I had to go back and glue some of it down and repaint, and it was annoying. Uh, I'm using a little bit of, uh, uh, what was this, Prussian blue, a uh, really watered down Prussian blue to get the, the evening light. Um, it's going to be a moonlit night, and then at the very end here, you're going to see that the dire bore uh, has, has a bit of color in them, uh, and what's happening there is that uh, Galdor, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Gador, um, uh, shows up at the last minute uh, with a, a big maul, um, a, a large, heavy wooden maul, and clubs this dire boar right over the head. And he's holding um, he's holding a lantern with him. So that's that's what we're looking at here. Now the uh, the limited palette for the night sky, I thought that was going to work out well. Um, I, I've always had this idea of doing like a completely blue picture. Um, I guess not unlike Picasso, but you know, a little less pretentious. Uh, just to, to see how much extension I could get out of it. But I never really had much of an excuse to do so until now. I, I wanted to play around with the, uh, with the color, get things a little more vibrant, get things a little more... Uh, uh, um, how do I put it? Well, it, 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 I have to let myself uh, loose a little bit with the color. I, th I think I think I can tend toward being too conservative, and you can see that with. Uh, well, I don't know if anybody would ever see my college paintings. I hope nobody does. They're horrible, but you could see that with my college paintings, where I something happened where I stopped. Um, being bold with my color, being bold with my paint, I got really conservative and, and too conservative with it. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm trying to break out of that now. Well, I've been trying to break out of that for a couple couple of years, and I think I, I've gotten gotten through the the, the problem. <clears throat> I think the problem was is that I wanted to paint like an academic, you know, like a French academic painter. But the problem was is that I, I there was nobody to teach me how and um, uh, I didn't know that school actually existed for that kind of thing until it was a bit too late. Now, this is where I come into the, uh, the problem of the paper peeling up as I peel the paper off as a result of, and you can see I'm, I'm using the pen right there to, to re-ink some of the lines, re-ink the panels. Um, <laughs> I was, uh, I was cussing here. This is where I was cussing. Um, now, my goal is to uh, always keep these pages together. There's only one page that I actually had to split apart. Now, the, pa the paper I'm using is a uh, very heavy stock watercolor paper, and I really enjoy using this for uh, making and illustrating this comic. Anyway, uh, we're getting toward the end of the time here, so thank you very much for checking me out. Uh, be sure to uh, like, subscribe, and all that other YouTube stuff. You can check me out on Instagram at lionmill underscore studio you can find me on ebay i'm selling a painting there uh it is a landscape that i made and i am also uh if you have any inquiries or anything like that you can contact me at linemillstudio at gmail.com thank you all very much for checking me out and have a wonderful day hail comicsgate